The Lyman model of 1878 Sharps Carbine, 140th year anniversary. Let's check it out. William Lyman produced his first tank site in 1878. Uh, one of the things they've done though over the past few years is bring out some Sharps replica carbines and rifles, uh, typically in 4570. But to celebrate their 140th year, they're introducing their lightweight 3030 Sharps carbine. Uh, this is a very handy, very balanced model. Uh, it's a lot of fun at the range, and of course with the 3030 Winchester, it makes it a, just a very soft shooting rifle. Now there are only 140 of these that are going to be made, and this is going to be a really high collectible firearm. Uh, you get that same traditional feel of the original Sharps carbine, and yet with the modern technology and shooting regular 3030 Winchester ammunition. It really just slows things down quite a bit. Now this is a single shot rifle. We're going to half cock the hammer and you bring down this lever, which is your trigger guard. And you'll notice that it's a falling block. That means that block just drops out of the way and allows you to feed around directly into the chamber. And as you can see, the gun is unloaded. Uh, this was, during the time, a very fast loading firearm. Uh, during the Civil War, these were used with, in percussion caps and of course black powder. This is one of the few rifles that were actually being able to be converted from black powder to smokeless powder and with the metallic cartridges. So the proper way to really do it is again, just to half cock that hammer, bring down your lever, and then you insert around, bring the lever back, then go ahead and pull back on the hammer. This makes it in full cock position. Now here you'll notice that there are two triggers. Uh, this is your set trigger, and then we have the standard trigger. You can actually go ahead and fire it, hitting that regular trigger. But with the, the preset trigger, it makes this a hair trigger. <laughs> I mean, it really allows for great accuracy. Uh, that's one of the things about this rifle. These were known to be very accurate. And so this gives it a really nice trigger pull. Now we're not gonna drop it on an empty chamber, uh, but this is just a beautiful, well-built design. The fit, the finish is just gorgeous. Um, and, you know, it is. It's a collectible. I mean, they, there are only 140 of these made. Many of these have already been sold. Uh, so we have a Tang site back here at the back, and this is what Lyman was known for, the number two Tang site. It's actually a peep site. has a disc. You have a hole, and this is able to be adjusted. I've always loved these Tang sites. I mean, they're just gorgeous. Um, the, the quality is exceptional. Here you can see the disc, and this really attracts the eye to that hole and you can pick up that front post very easily. Folds down out of the way, so it just makes a really nice sight. Here at the front, we have a brass globe, but you also have a notch, so you can actually shoot from the notch, or you can bring up the globe, and it has a small post here. It really allows for great accuracy. These guns in the 4570 and some of the other calibers were able to be competitive out to 1,000 yards. Uh, and that's pretty impressive considering these are iron sights. The wood is also gorgeous. I mean, they really did an exceptional job. Of course, you have your metal butt plate on the back and it's curved. No pistol grip here. And I think the 4570s did have a pistol grip, but this is straight grip. Right here on the side plate, the Lyman Gun Sight Corporation. And this is 1878 to 2018. 
140 years. And then here engraved, Lyman, 140 years. And the same is engraved on the other side. Now here marked on the barrel, Sharps 24 inch, and this is 3030 Winchester. But you'll notice underneath it says Peter Soli, Italy. Uh, these are made by the Peter Soli Corporation, which makes really fine firearms. And so they were commissioned by Lyman to make these rifles. And these rifles run $1,999, and I believe it's 95 cents. There are only 140 of these made, and so they will definitely be collector items. Now, according to Lyman, these weigh 7 pounds. Um, I was getting uh, 6 pounds, 12.2 ounces. It does have the 24-inch barrel, but the overall length is 41 inches. The balance on this rifle is just superb feels great in the hand. We were shooting this from the bench. We just had such a great time sitting down, going through the action. I mean, it really took some time to enjoy it. There's definitely a process involved in loading this rifle. Uh, it really makes it kind of slow things down a bit. Now the Lyman peep sight at the rear, uh, it does fold down, so you bring it up. Front sight, you can actually pop it up from this little back so you don't put your finger over the muzzle. First thing you do is you pull the hammer back to a half cock. Then you take your lever, bring it down, insert your round, close the action. Now we're going to bring the hammer all the way back. Now you have two triggers. You have your set trigger and you have the trigger that you pull to fire. Uh, you can actually pull this trigger to fire it, but it's not quite as smooth. Uh, and this really helps you to, to refine and get on target first. So we hit the set trigger, small click, now we're ready to fire. I'm telling you what guys, it's just a real pleasure. It kind of brings things down four or five notches. Uh, but the quality and the smoothness, uh, I love the trigger. It's so refined and it just really allows for good accuracy. We have hit steel every round. Uh, it's just dead on. And those Lyman sights are just exceptional. I mean, they really, that peep and then that brass at the top, it just really shows up nice. Now we've been using the Federal Fusion. Uh, this is the 150 grain. And um, it's just got a nice, mild kick to it. Uh, in 4570, which a lot of these were designed in, uh, you know, it could be a handful. But with 3030, uh, it's a real pleasure. I mean, the recoil is very mild. And I want to thank Federal for sponsoring the ammo for this review. Now, here we have the 3030. It's 150 grain. Uh, then we have the 4570. And this is a 300 grain. But you can go on up to about 500 grains. So there is quite a bit of difference with the kick. Uh, but and that makes this a lot of fun at the range, which the 4570 is one of my favorite calibers. It's just got a good thump to it. The 3030 definitely made it such a pleasure to take out to the range. I mean, we went through about a hundred rounds, which took a while, uh, but it was just so much fun loading it. It just again really slowed things down quite a bit. But you know, this has been an effective American deer cartridge for a long time, and uh, I think that it's an exceptional round. Uh, for this if you just want to get out and enjoy shooting. Guys, we had the best time, and I want to thank Lyman for sending it. I want to thank him for their sponsorship to make this video possible. Uh, but I'll tell you what, guys, if you ever get a chance to get out a Sharps rifle, these replicas are just absolutely excellent. Yeah, the price is a little high at uh, $1,999, but honestly, this is a collectible. It will continue to go up in price. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic.
Okay, we probably won't use that. <laughs> I feel like a genuine cowpoke. Now, if you need to go, you're going to be making fun of me. You're going to be making fun no, of me. No, I'm just Cowboy Daddy. Oh, yeah. You're the I'm the cowboy of this family. Let's go ahead and just go ahead and bring it around. Bring her on around. Did I not cock the hammer? <laughs> nope.